what is up ladies and gentlemen namaste and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new make sure to subscribe down below you will find a lot of good videos that you want to check out and you can tell me more videos you want me to react to i'm going to react to all about goddess kali the most powerful hindu god the most powerful i mean really can you explain me that fact down below in the comment section? Otherwise, let's dive into it and we'll talk more at the end of the video. Much love. Let's go. No character in the history of all religions is as fierce as the Hindu goddess Kali. Ooh. In India, Kali is known as the Dark Goddess. When the Western scholars encountered Kali, their first reaction was that of shock and surprise. For one thing, they had trouble swallowing the idea that the female could be divine. The closest they had come to such a deity was the kindly and virginal Mother Mary. In the 20th century, with the rise of women rights, feminists came to view Kali as the embodiment of feminine power. They found her to be liberating. The image of Kali that exists in the West is rather different from the way most Indians see her. Kali, the name which literally means time in Sanskrit, is an intensely frightening and the most powerful manifestation of Shakti. There are many depictions of the different forms of Kali. The most common form often shows Kali as black, naked, with angry red sunken eyes, wearing skulls around her neck as jewelry oh. and limbs around her waist. Her blackness represents that she is Nirguna meaning beyond all qualities of nature. She has four arms, showing aspects of both creation and destruction. With a blood sword in one of her hands, she defeats the enemies and carries the head of a demon on the other hand. She holds the bowl on the third hand, where the blood of the enemy is collected and the last is held out in blessing. She has an open mouth with blood drooling down her tongue while she stands on the body of her husband, Lord Shiva. Although Kali is associated with blood, death and destruction, she is also seen as a mother figure and often referred to as Ma Kali, meaning Mother Kali. She is the wife of Kali Lord Shiva. Kali is a dramatic expression of a fierce mother's anger and the feminine power that awakens to attack those who threaten her children. The birth or origin of Kali is popularly known through the story of her fight in Markandeya Purana. Oh my in Hindu mythology, Raktabij was a demon or asura who had been given a wound by Lord Brahma that every time a drop of his blood fell on the ground, a new version of his own would be created. Having received this wound, he made the life of people and gods miserable. More so with this power to produce more Raktabij every time he sheds a drop of his blood. Hence the gods reached out to goddess Durga or Shakti for help. Armed with all the weapons, the goddess charged at the demon. But as soon as she wounded him with her sword and his blood fell on the earth, the demon multiplied. With more attempts at killing Raktabij, he kept on multiplying. Huge armies of Rakta Beach were formed by the drops of blood which fell on the earth. Enraged by this, the Devi took the fierce and infuriated form of Kali. She went on to destroy the demon with her sword in her hand. She slayed each demon and collected their bloods in her bowl and drank it immediately. Soon she finished the whole army of Rakta Beach and only the real Rakta Beach was left. Then she killed him down and drank his blood until he fell down lifeless. Hi, man, Not realizing that the real Rakta Beach was dead, the goddess continued her destruction and drinking blood of the innocent. She continued to kill anybody that appeared her way. Seeing this, the gods became extremely worried and approached Lord Shiva for help. Lord Shiva went and laid down amongst the corpses wow. where the goddess was madly dancing for blood. Accidentally, Kali stepped on Shiva and soon she realized her mistake. It was then she stuck out her tongue out of embarrassment and calmed down. She was ashamed that her bloodlust had prevented her from recognizing her husband. Soon she came back to her original form and the destruction was stopped. Shiva lying at the feet also symbolizes the supremacy of nature over man. 
it clearly shows that without kali or shakti even a powerful force like lord shiva is inert kali is associated with many different forms and stories some of her forms are mahakali bhadrakali dakshina kali and chandika the image of kali has traveled from the east to the west and has made home in the eyes of many but in truth kali does not exist in front of us she exists in the space behind our eyes she exists in our minds and in our minds she has many shapes forms and many meanings okay that is interesting that that right there okay you know what i love the part when i mean it was like everything is now okay you know i was so frightened and scared you know and then she was like actually she does not exist she exists at the back of our eyes she is in our minds and she has all the forms that we are not like oh okay so you know all right you know like she, okay that makes sense now so you know it can be a form of you like you can just bring it out in a way i don't know you know i i honestly don't know but but i would say that was that was interesting that was really interesting i was not expecting it to come out like that i was not like i was so frightened man i was so frightened when i was seeing that and um you know all this drinking of blood and all this blood last and being the wife of uh lord shiva when they said she was also the wife of lord i was like oh man that's why she got all this power you know she i mean that is so intense that is so intense i'm telling you and i see why she's like the most powerful hindu god bro that that is just lit that is amazing anyway you guys tell me what you think about this in the comment section down below or anything that you want to share with me for clarity's sake you know I, i would really appreciate that but otherwise that was interesting like i was not expecting this like to just come out like that you know and uh know that he is the one who who, who killed as well the demon who was just ravaging and going up and about destroying everybody but it's really awesome how it it um it all comes around how it all you know comes about you know like when i'm reacting to this i'm like okay so this is what happened this is what happened right and then there is a twist in everything and then you realize oh so this was the reason or or this so this is what was going on so it does help and it uh it makes me understand more when it comes to all this um but yeah yeah i appreciate what you guys have been helping me uh, know more and understand this and i, I would say right now I know a lot, you know. I know like crazy lot. Anyway, much love. Take good care of yourself. Namaste. Peace.